Hey everyone, thank you very much for watching my videos. This is Tom and today I would like to explain to you my favorite place for catching a small mass bass in Japan. First of all, before we start get into the detail, I'd like to stress out that now the Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, the Japanese Prime Minister, stated clear state of emergency. And Bad week jolted Prime Minister Shinzo Abe to say he'll declare a month-long state of emergency. We need to convince citizens to minimize contact, he says. Now people have to stay home. Like today, I stuck at home because the company banned to come to the office but I can only call to the office once a week so normally I will stay home and as I explained in my Facebook channel uh, I won't be able to go fishing this month but I'm planning to go fishing in May or June if possible if the declaration has released. So for those who are interested in fishing in Japan and wanted to catch a small mass bass I will strongly recommend you to go to Lake Nojiri. This is a lake. I uh, will show you the brief explanation how you get there, one of the options for the boat, and how you can get the fish and so on. Please check it out. So, first of all, I will explain the place of Lake Nojiri. Just type Lake. Lake, oops, Nojiri, and the Google Map, and you can see the lake. The lake itself is really, I don't think it's big. Like compared to Lake Biwa, I'll explain where Lake Biwa is. Here's Lake Biwa. You can see how big this lake is. And this is Lake Nojiri, and this is Tokyo where I live. So, I would say like Nojiri is not the close, close place from Tokyo. Uh, let's see, directions from, uh, let's say, Tokyo S Station. Let's say you go by car. Now, because no traffic jam, but still, it'll take about 3 and 43 minutes and 260 kilometers just go to the north so I would say it's not so close but it worth it so let me dive into the lake Nojiri and I'll show you some of the image the water is really clear you can probably see the weed here and like this place, this is the famous shrine where those shallow waters you can see lots and lots of small mass making a spawn so it's pretty easy to get but I don't really recommend it to get the small mass bass when you go spring because most of the small mass bass they're spawning so it's important to protect the nest let's see and I explain some of the image of small mass bass in Lake Nojiri. Boom. The size of the Nojiri is quite big, like this guy. Oh, it's a pretty big one. And not only small mass bass. Wow, it's quite a lot. But they also have a large mass bass as well, like this. This is a large mass bass. But I would say. 80 to 90% of the bass you can catch in Lake Nojiri is a small mass bass. That's the main target. And let me check the regulations and rules in Lake Nojiri. Just type Nojiri go. Sorry, I type in Japanese, but Gyo Gyo. Gyo Gyo is a fisherman. So, Lake Nojiri, they protect the fish. Nojiri Go Fisherman's Cooperative Association website. This is the website and it says the date for release for lure fishing is 
the 25th of April 2020. So before it means you cannot go fishing right now. And they have a fishing ticket. They have two different types of ticket. Um, the day ticket is 700 yen. But it says Gemba Uri Biori Tsuriken. Gemba Fukakin. So if you don't have a ticket, then in that case you have to pay 500 yen additionally. So it's better to buy the ticket. So this is to protect people who try to go fishing without buying a ticket. But in that case, if people looking at it and if you're pointed out you have to pay 500 yen additionally so make sure to buy a ticket and this is the uh, vending machines and stores where they sell the ticket so if you want if you go here there's a lot of place where you can buy ticket and also if you want to go fishing annually then it, it costs 6,000 yen but in that case you need a picture so to make sure bring your uh, picture with your face and this website has a unique uh, content which says live camera and the temperature so this is the live image of the lake Ashinoko it seems like it's raining so badly and this is the temperature now the temperature is it's like five four three degrees still very cold mm. so this is very uh, useful um, before you go fishing to see the condition of the fish and lastly I will explain the rental boat yes it's okay to go fishing in Lake Ashinoko from shore but if you want to get a fish I would strongly recommend it to rent a boat and the rental boat the time is from 7 a.m. till 4 p.m. Hmm. and you can also rent a tackle just 1000 yen I'm not quite sure if they include the bait or not so make sure to bring some uh, bait you can use the worm here not like Ashinoko and these are the rental boat uh, these are a bass boat so if you look at it you can see the price 22,500 yen for three persons and this also includes a uh, fish finder yep fish finder also this is the skeeters 20 feet and then 200 horsepower but and these are the options one thing I would like to stress out is if you are a foreigner and I'm pretty sure you don't have a license so for those who want to rent a boat make sure you find this word it means you can rent a boat without license because this only include food electric so no engine and it's cheap less than 10,000 yen so, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then the lowest price is three thousand yen. Alright, so that's all for today. So if you'd like to go fishing in Lake Nojiri, please let me know if you have a chance to come to Tokyo or Japan and if you want to try out both smallmouth uh, fishing, I would strongly recommend you to go to Lake Nojiri. Please uh, share it and if you like it, make a comment down below. Thanks, bye! Could he see?